Hey friends, it's Fanny. Now welcome back to my channel for today's video. As you can see from the title of this video, it is gonna be a Japan haul. But before I start my haul, I wanna greet you guys a happy new year. I have a short new year message to you guys. First of all is I wanna congratulate you guys for surviving 2019. I've been seeing posts on Facebook that 2019 has been the hardest year for them. And I have to admit for me as well. So congratulations to us. We're all here. You guys are still there. I'm I'm still here vlogging. You guys are still there watching my video, I hope. And yeah, congratulations to us and happy new year. I wish us all the best year this 2020 and I wish awesome things for every one of us. So just a quick intro for this Japan haul. I was really supposed to do a Japan vlog but then it was so hard for me to do a vlog because so lamig lamik sa Japan. From Narita Airport, we took the Narita Express and bullet train to Karuizawa. And sa Karuizawa kasi sobrang lamig as in it was snowing there so it was hard for me to vlog kasi ang lamig talaga sa kamay. And my cold and cough pa rin ako when I arrived in Japan. Medyo mahirap talaga mag-vlog so hindi ko na lang ni-race kasi nga ang hirap so in-enjoy ko na lang yung trip. If you're interested to see what I bought from Japan then please do continue watching. Let us start. I'm gonna first show you guys what I bought from Kuru Izawa. So the first thing that I bought nung pumunta ko sa premium outlet is this. It's from Bating Ape. And bumili lang ako ng t-shirt for Vince tsaka para sa akin. So I'll show you guys first kung ano yung binili ko para sa akin. And ito, ang cute kasi nung design niya kasi parang holographic. Pero wala nang sizes. Meron na lang is XL, XXL. Triple XL yata. So, I got XL na lang for me. Kasi mahilig din naman ako sa oversized shirts. And hindi naman ako payak. So, yun. Um, yan. It's super cute for Vince. I bought him a shirt din. And napansin ko kasi mahilig siya sa mga camouflage na shirt. So, that's what I got him. Ayan. Baking Ape is like itong mga high piece of shirts and I know over na kami ni Vince sa face na yun. Pero kasi if we wanna dress casual, ayan. At least meron kami yung shirts. So roughly parang ang isang shirt sa Baiting Ape doon ay parang mga nasa 2,000 pesos which is not bad kasi sa Hong Kong medyo mahal siya. So I'm not really sure pero kinuha ko na din siya and they were on sale din kasi and yun nga if you are a tourist in Japan mayroon siya ng tax free law. So Yon, okay, the next that I bought from Kurizawa, nandun din to do sa outlets, is ito. So, halos ganyan siya kadami nun. Pero since ilang days din kami sa Japan, kinain na lang namin na kinain during the trip. You can create your own lint bag. So, ayan. So, it's really good. So, yun lang yung nabili ko sa Kurizawa. The next that I'll be showing you guys is yung nabili ko sa Don Quixote. Kasi when we arrived in Tokyo, parang Don Quixote yung unang tinarget namin na puntahan. Kasi nga, uh, medyo marami kami. Like, we were eight kasi. We were with our family friends. Sila, um, Parko family. So, nag-decide kami na mag Don Quixote muna kasi nga halos lahat kami may gustong bilin Don. So, I'll show you guys what I bought from Don Quixote. Okay, so the first one I'm showing is this one. It is the Fuji Film Simple Ace Camera. It's not my first time to buy this. I bought five of these. Kasi for this year, Vince and I are planning to travel again and gusto ko sana for a change. Yan. Ganto naman para at least madadevelop ko yung pictures. Para lang mabago. Like, I can hang pictures sa room ko. Parang may nakikita ko may mga stores na nagsisell nito na nasa mga 750 to 1,000 pesos which is kinda pricey na. Pero yun nga, meron promo sa Don Quixote na if you get 5, 5 um, 5,250 yen na lang siya. So, if you convert it to peso, magiging parang 490 pesos each siya. So, I think super sulit and super good deal to sa Don Quixote. The next that I got are these ones. <laughs> um, eye drop siya. I don't really use eye drops, pero kasi, been seeing some of the vloggers using this one. So, I wanted to try it. Actually, nakakatakot din because um, medyo sensitive talaga yung eyes ko but then my eye doctor told me na sometimes I have really dry eyes daw kaya minsan parang uh, masakit yung mata ko yun, um, I got this as well it's from the brand Roto it's called Lysi and na Don Quixote the next that I bought is skincare naman so this is the barrier repair and I only bought this kasi may picture ng baby and I am assuming na kapag ginamit to magiging baby skin ulit yung face Although, I really don't have problems sa skin ko naman. But yeah, I wanted to try it lang din. And I wanted to buy 
skincare sa Don Quixote. Okay, the next that I bought is this one. I'm not sure if it's called Cool Fever then, pero mukha naman siyang Cool Fever. I like buying these ones. Actually, nag-hoor talaga ako nito. Kahit dito sa Philippines, kasi kapag sumasakit yung ulo ko, sobrang nakakatulong talaga ito. And then this one, ito is self-heating daw to. Trinay na to nila mommy and nung tita ko. And sabi nila, as in, umiinit daw talaga siya. So, I wanted to try this as well. It's for when you have pains or when you want to relax when you're asleep, when you're watching TV, or when you're um, traveling. So, yeah, I wanted to try it. I also bought this one. It's the Cool Refresh Sheet. I don't know from which brand this is. Pero yun, um, lately kasi nagkakaroon ako ng cramps dito nga sa pubs area. So, um, I wanted to try this as well. Very tita na tayo. And then, I also bought this one. Actually, kaya ko lang to binili kasi nagdadry yung focus, guys. Kasi nagdadry yung lips ko nung nasa Japan kami until now naman. Pero yun, hindi ko siya nabuksan kasi nahalo na siya sa mga gamit ko na panamili. So, Yun sayang, pero I think I can use this here naman. I also bought this from Don Quixote. Actually, si mommy nakakita nito. And she knows na si Vince mahilig sa Gundam. So, sabi niya, bilan ko daw si Vince. And naisip ko, si Vince kasi, he works sa family business nila. And he needs to write stuff then. So, I think this is useful for him then. I don't know if he's gonna use it though. Kasi medyo mukhang pambata. Pero kasi mahilig naman siya sa toy. So, I guess, I don't know. I hope he likes it. The next that I'll be showing you guys is yung mga food haul ko sa Don Quixote. This one, I actually bought this for Ella's mom. So, si Tito Grace kasi, nung dumalaw ako sa kanila, like, several times na, minimension niya na she wants this. Kasi, before, binili ito ni Ella for her. Champoy siya, so, it's plum. I, I tried this before, and seedless siya. And yun, gusto niya. So, I bought for her and for mama din. Lastly, sa Don Quixote haul ko, I also bought this one. I forgot what it's called, pero... Ito yung parang corn snack na kamukha ni Doraemon. Ito sa Doraemon ba talaga ito? Masarap to And yung ito, pack na ito, meron siyang iba-ibang flavor. So, assorted na siya. I forgot how much ito. Pero, mura lang din siya. Parang mga nasa around 200 pesos lang. <coughs> okay. So, let's skip muna yung mga nabili ko sa Ginza and Shibuya. I'm gonna show you guys kung ano yung mga nabili ko sa airport naman. It is wooden waffles. This is very good. Nagbukas na kami ng isa last night and it was super good. Pwede siya pang breakfast, pwede siya pang dessert. I also bought these ones. Mochi siya. So, meron dito na may tiramisu yata. Tiramisu. And meron din dito na may strawberry. Hi, baby! Look! Guys, I'll show you Coco. Easy Coco! Hi! And then, the next that I'll be showing is also mochi. So, ito kasi, um, when I pass by, naalala ko kasi na Vince's mom wants mochi. So, binilan ko sila and bumili na din ako for the house. Coco, you wanna try mochi? Hmm? You wanna try mochi? Food din siya. Um, seaweed. It's not seaweed tempura eh. Pero yun, um, si Aba kasi mahilig sa ganito. So, I bought her as well. And sinabi ko, huwag niyo muna kainin. Dumating kami dito na December 30. Sabi ko, huwag niyo muna kainin. Kasi nga, if vlog ko. So, yun. Then, I also got this one. Parang siyang dried squid. Also bought this one. Ayan, sabi ni Mommy kasi it looks good. 1,000 so it's roughly mga nasa less than 500 pesos. Favorite ko to, yung green tea powder. So, whenever we go to Japan, bumibili talaga ako nitong green tea powder. Kasi I like drinking green tea at night before I sleep or after I eat dinner. And ito. Mint spray siya. It's not mint para sa bibig, I think. And mint cream. So, meron akong bukas na ganito. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh my god, I'm a focus. Ayan. So, itong mint na to, spray siya. What you do is, you spray lang sa kamay mo like that. Para siyang essential oil lang naman. And then, yan. And then, namin mo na. Nakaka-relief talaga siya if you have like sinus problems, if you have cough, or if masakit yung leeg mo, ayan, ipahit mo lang. If masakit yung legs mo, if something is itchy, it really helps. Kasi yun bango niya. And I think maling ginawa ko kasi nag-spray ako. Tapos ngayon, medyo ma- hindi <laughs> siya sa eyes. Okay, but anyway, let us proceed. The show must go on. So, yun yung mga nabili ko sa airport. 
Um, the next I'll be showing you guys is yung nabili ko naman somewhere in Ginza. So, eto, finally, nakita ko na yung Muji Hotel. Ang laki din ng Muji store sa baba ng hotel. May diner, may cafe. So, this is my Muji Hall. Natapon ko na yung paper bag. Um, the first thing that I bought sa Muji is this one. Sensitive Skin Hand Cream. And I bought this kasi naalala ko si Pao. Parati siya naghahanap ng lotion for the hands or hand cream. So, I bought this. And then, I also bought this. It is the UV Lip Color in Rose. So, bumili ako nito for me, for Aba, my Ninang, mom, sister, for Pao, and for mom. And then, I also bought this one, lipstick na Rose. And, yun. Um, actually, kasi wala namang Muji makeup dito. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, bumili na din ako for us to try out. And then, I also bought pens. Yung pens doon, sobrang mura lang. Like, 50 pesos lang. And dito, parang 100 pesos ato or 85 pesos. So, nakatipid din. I bought na rin. And then, I also bought a 2020 planner. So, ayan. Medyo nasira siya kasi nilagyan ko siya ng stamp. Pero yun, okay lang. Cute pa rin naman. Ayan, bumili lang ako ng planner para kasha sa bag ko. Maliit lang naman siya. My next haul from Ginza is this one. It is from Shiseido Ginza Tokyo. Yes, from Bo Origin itself. Plan ko talaga bumili nito because I saw kay Farah Espina. And yun, nakita ko when she used this. And tinanong ko ulit siya when I was in Tokyo kung ano ba yung ginamit yung product. Kasi ang ganda talaga sa skin niya. So, I decided to buy one as well for myself. So, ito kasi yung ginamit niya. It's called Think Crow Skin Self Refreshing Foundi Liquid Foundation SPF 35 PA++. Hindi naman ako masyadong ma-foundation talaga. Like, I don't really use foundation anymore. I use concealer and powder lang mostly. Pero, yun, for a change or for special occasions, I'll try to use this. Kasi ang ganda nga sa skin. And then, as I said, concealer girl nga ako. So, I bought the concealer version of the Think Crow Skin Self Refreshing concealer naman. So, this one. And it's really good for eye bags din. Kasi sabi ko sa kanya, gusto ko talaga mag-concentrate sa eye bags ko kasi ang lala niya talaga. Sobrang lala. And then, I also bought yung compact version niya. nag talaga ako. Kasi, um, mura talaga doon sa Shiseido na yun. Since galing nga siya sa Ginza, Tokyo. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Nawawala na yung voice ko. And then, I also bought the foundation brush. etong foundation brush na to, sobrang cheap niya. Nagulat ako. Akala ko kasi expensive yung mga brush. Especially, ganito ito. Ang ganda nung quality niya, oh. As in, like, sobrang soft. Um, this one costs, like, around 1,000 pesos only. So, Shiseido brand siya. I don't know kung normal price ba niya yun, pero sobrang namurahan ako, so binili ko na rin siya. And yun nga, as I mentioned earlier, sa Tokyo nga, if you're a tourist, tax-free ka. So, less tax pa talaga lahat. Yun, I think roughly ang nagastos ko sa so, Shiseido, mga around 5,000 pesos siguro. Pero okay lang kasi nga tax-free siya and maganda naman yung brand niya and tumingin ako syempre ng reviews. I really wanted to try it out. So, I got it as well. Okay, we are down to the last three purchases sa Japan. Let's get to it na. So, ito. Yan. So, I bought two sneakers from Onitsuka. One for me and one for Vince. Um, backstory lang. I really wasn't planning on buying an Onitsuka or any sneakers sa trip na to. Nakita ko sa Facebook, nagpost si Preview.ph na must buy sneakers daw to. So, binili ko na rin kasi nandun naman na rin sa Japan and cheaper price nga sa Japan since Onitsuka is from Japan. This is my first leather sneakers from Onitsuka. It's really cute and chic. Sobrang minimal lang niya. I don't know how much this is, pero kasi nakita ko na yung bill ko and roughly nasa mga 9,000 plus tong dalawa na to. I like this kasi yung detail niya din is ito. Color beige siya. So, yung para kay Vince naman, kaya ko siya binilan kasi wala akong Christmas gift sa kanya. Although may usapan kami na hindi na kami mag-exchange gift ngayon. Ang usapan lang namin is we were gonna do um, Christmas dinner na fancy-fancy, which we did naman. Got it from yung sa ipon namin kasi diba nga nag-ipon kami this year, like yung 52-week challenge. Yun, medyo mataas naman yung naipon namin, so we decided to splurge sa Christmas dinner namin. But then, Christmas kasi, and I'm really used to like give pag Christmas talaga, like, hindi ko talaga kaya pigilan sarili ko. So, I decided to buy him sneakers as well. So, parang pasalubong slash Christmas gift ko na din sa kanya. I brought home the box kasi in case hindi kasha sa kanya, yun, mabibenta namin and at least mapapalitan namin ng bagong pair. Shoes na lang yung naisip ko ibili kasi four years ago when I went to Japan, I bought him Stan Smiths or three years ago. And sobrang lala na nung itsura ng Stan Smith niya ngayon. So, I think it's time to replace it na. That's why I bought him white sneakers and I got him yung 
laceless. Slip-on siya. Mas madali siyang gamitin. And it's pretty minimal then as well like mine. Canvas though, hindi siya leather kasi wala daw wala other tong slip-on na to. I hope he likes it though. Kasi yun nga. I don't know. Wala kasi siyang on it so I decided to get him one lang dun. We are down to the last purchase. And this last purchase is pretty big kasi ito yung pinaka as in pinag splurgeon ko sa trip na to. To be honest, ang mga bags lang na binibili ko is like mga Kate Spade, Marc Jacobs. Hindi ko kaya mag above dun sa mga brands na yun. Super big decision din to because I don't normally buy luxury bags. I just wait for my mom to give her bag sa akin. Like, kapag nagsawa na siya. Hinihintay ko lang talaga yun. Pero this time, ah! So, it is from Louis V. And I'm super excited to show you guys kasi sobrang nakaka-proud that I was able to buy this. <coughs> I was supposed to buy a Chanel. Pero, sabi kasi niya, pag nagpapayat ako, bigay niya sa akin yung isang Chanel niya. So, umaasa na lang talaga ako na pumayat ako. <laughs> Para sa Chanel ako pero yon, then nag-decide like, na ako bumili ng Louis Vuitton. Eh. Really wanted to buy a Balenciaga pero tinanong ko yung friends ko, hindi tinanong ko si Vince. Si Vince ang opinion niya is kind of weird sabi niya kasi ang Balenciaga daw parang kulubot-kulubot daw lukot-lukot yung leather niya. So wag na lang daw yon para daw maiba naman. And then si Ella sabi niya she doesn't really know the brand Louis Vuitton eh. kaya mas gusto niya na to kasi mas hindi siya common. Malaki yung price difference niya, mga nasa around 10,000 to 15,000 pesos yung difference niya. So, sobrang sulit din na binili ko to sa Japan. Okay, so I'll show you guys the bag. It's called the Gay Top Handle Mini. I know it's kind of small, pero kasi I made sure na kasha yung wallet ko, yung compact powder ko, lip tint, camera. As in, trinay ko talaga ipasok dun. I don't know if that's a normal thing to do when you're buying a bag. Pero ginawa ko siya. I don't, I don't really care. Kasi what's really important is magagamit ko talaga siya. I didn't wanna buy it just because for the sake of buying. Gusto ko talaga siya bilhin kasi alam ko magiging useful siya. So I tried it out first kung kasha talaga yung magagamit ko. And then may kasama siyang long strap. Pwede niyo yung ikabit yung strap. Also, nung naka-display to sa Japan, iba yung nakasama. I was really expecting na yun yung kasama niyang. I think I'll post a photo here na lang. Pero, yun nga, hindi yun yung kasama. And then I asked the guy kung how much yung handle. Sabi niya, nasa mga 60,000 yan daw. Sa mga nasa 30,000 pesos. So, parang, what? So, inisip ko, should I get it? Do I really need it? Um, naisip ko, hindi ko naman talaga kailangan kasi may kasama naman siya. Also, would like to thank my mom then. I really love it. And si mommy kasi she loves to collect bags talaga. So, I think tama talaga na siya yung tinanong ko on what to buy. This versus the Balenciaga. Thank you mom then kasi she told me na ito na lang daw yung Christmas gift niya sa akin. Like half kami. So, thank you mom. Thank you so much. You're the best. Like, yun nga. As I said, hindi naman ako talaga mas splurge sa bags. Pero the fact na hangatian ako ni mommy. I'm not encouraging you guys to buy like bags na mamahalin na hindi naman natin ma-afford. So, just buy bags that you think na yung paycheck nyo is kayang abutin yung price ng bag na yun. And yun nga, hindi naman kailangan branded parate. Pero yun, I just really wanted to buy something na I think worth it naman kasi pinaghirapan ko yung money na ginamit ko to buy that bag. And yun nga, um, sabi ni mommy, half daw kami doon kasi half noon is her Christmas gift to me na rin. So, thank you so much, mama. I love you. And yun! Are you happy, Bubu? We also bought something for Gomo, pero kasi nakatago na doon. Um, we bought him a jumper and some treats. And this baby boy got sick. I confined siya for the first time and we were so worried. Like, from the airport, pumunta kami ni Daddy doon sa vet hospital to bring him sa emergency room. Got really worried. I think he's fine naman nang umulit na siya ngayon. Hi, baby! It's end of vlog na. Okay, so that is it for my Japan haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm sorry if sobrang haba nitong vlog na to. I just really wanted to share with you guys the stuff that I bought from Japan because I'm really super proud because hard-earned money ko yung ginamit ko dun sa mga items na nabili ko sa Japan for this trip. Share ko lang din. Uh, if you haven't watched my 52-week challenge video, then please do watch it. Sobrang useful niya talaga. Mostly, yung mga ginastos ko sa haul na to is from that even talaga. So, yun. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And click on that bell icon to get notified whenever I post something. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on my next one. Bye!